Good. Good. Hey, thanks guys for jumping on tonight. I really appreciate it and a massive welcome and thank you so much to the amazing Mel um, for offering her time. She doesn't have any um, monetary you know, there's money or anything involved in this for her, but she's just doing it out of the kindness of the heart because she's such a beautiful person. Um, I remember the first time that I met Mel it was at my first conference. I didn't actually meet her at first, but she was up on stage doing the funniest little skit about um, leaving all your baggage behind. And she had suitcases on stage and she was doing it with a couple of other girls. And it was just awesome. There were, in the suitcases had all these excuses. So there was labeled like self-doubt and self-belief and all of these excuses. And it was just a little skit about the business and just a whole reenactment, but it was really, really powerful and it's always stuck in my head. And now every time I see Mel, I always go back to that conference. Um, but we connected a couple of weeks ago up at the National Achievers Congress and um, she was just such a beautiful person and said, let me jump on a call with the girls. I'd love to, you know, share what I have learned over the years. She's been in the business now for three years. Got to NMD in 20 months, which is pretty friggin' crazy and amazing. Um, she has two girls, two little girls, and lives on the sunny coast. Um, and I suppose, I think when Mel and I were talking last week, um, Mel told me that she has brought on 100 people frontline, which I was just like, oh my gosh, 100 people. I think I've got like 15 or 20 and I thought that was going good. So you're so amazing, but you're so humble at the same time and also so giving. So Mel has a page called the Boss Mama Preneur. Um, so if you girls want to head over to that, if you haven't already, and follow that and check it out. She's always adding so much value and positivity and inspiration. Uh, I just finished Mel's five day course, which I know a couple of you other girls do as well, um, just on social media and how to build your um, audience and your viewing and just algorithms on Facebook and things like that. So that was awesome. Um, but I might just hand it over to you, Mel. And if you wanna share maybe a little bit about your story, first up because I know some of the girls haven't heard your story before that would be amazing and then we can take it away from there after she <laughs> hey, sorry sorry I just need to plug my laptop in. so I guess really um a little bit about my story uh like like T said you know I joined um three years ago when I was just that mum that was sick and tired of being sick and tired, but I was sick and tired of building someone else's dream as well. My boss was horrible, um, which, you know, it just made going to work every day just that little bit more painful, really. So, you know, I really... Um, I got that want for more out of life really fast just by being in that situation, uh, by, you know, being in that environment every single day. I just thought, oh, my goodness, how I can't do this for another 30 or 40 years. It's literally going to kill me. So... Um, I had no idea that a business like this even existed. And Jess Fuller uh, actually was a personal trainer at the gym that I started at. So what happened was because I joined the gym, I got one free PT session, right? One free PT session changed my life. Um, now, she didn't reach out that day. You know, she sort of, we got to know each other a little bit. And it was a few months later that she reached out and said, hey, you know, check out what I'm up to. I was that cool friend that was like, yeah, now nah, I don't have time. Um, and I didn't. I didn't take a look at all um, for three or four months. So, but I watched her. I watched her and, and I watched what she got up to. Just let me know if my internet cuts out as well. Um, so, yeah, basically um, I literally just, you know, had a look into the product and I thought, wow, this is a no-brainer, right? Uh, fruit, veg and berries in a capsule. Um, my kids eat well, but there's just no way that they ate the variety that they should have. Um, so, you know, the product made complete sense. And then uh, as for the business side, I dived in literally ignorance on fire. No idea what I was doing whatsoever. Um, but I thought, hey, you know, if all these other people can do it, 
then surely I can. It can't be that hard. Um, always been a bit of a lover for a challenge, always been a little bit competitive as well, which was good because it allowed me not to quit um, on the bad days. So, you know, that run to NMD was absolutely mental. Um, I was very fixated on NMD. You know, for me, that was ticking off so many goals. Um, you know, I'd grown up in a household of negative Nancys. I'd grown up, you know, with the parents that said, no, you can't, you'll never be, or, you know, that sort of thing. So that NMD for me, even all these years later, was, you know, a little bit of um, I'm going to go and build an empire with the stones that have been thrown at me. So, you know, I was so fixated on NMD um, and look let me tell you when you get there it, it, the view looks the same from the top um, you know it's not as though it just ticks over and all of a sudden you wake up NMD and everything looks different um, because it doesn't right because you've spent so long building it and getting there that you know the journey is um, you know there's so many people on that journey with you so when you get there right it's an amazing feeling but also, you know, it's, it's like, okay, what next? You know, what, what's that next goal? What does the next thing look like? So I think, you know, one of my realizations on this journey is, you know, don't be set on titles. Um, you know, just set yourself up. Um, I spoke to Lauren Slocum uh, 10 weeks into the business. I traveled to Nashville. No idea how I was going to do it. No idea who was going to have my kids, you know, all the normal mum things. But I just knew that I had to go. Um, and, you know, Lauren Slocum said to me, Mel, just go wide, go wide, go wide, go wide. And I thought, damn, this woman knows what she's on about. So I'm just going to do what she says. And we did that, right? We went ridiculously wide. But like I was saying to T the other day, like what that's allowed for me is to have lots and lots of choices when it comes to the team that I can work with. So what I definitely suggest is as you're building your teams and as your businesses are growing, create community. Yeah, like no one is the boss. No one knows any better. You know, some people might just know a little bit more about the virtual office than you do, or they might know a little bit more about the pay plan than you do. But I think the one thing that we're extremely proud of um, at Team Boss is the community that we've created. So, you know, I have a messenger thread uh, where all the team are in that thread. And you know what? I'm not in there very often at all because my team jump in and answer questions for the newbies. My team jump in and remind each other that there's calls on you know it's really like a girl gang with a couple of guys thrown in there um, you know and I think that's the most important thing to create is because you can't be an NMD team without you know like they say it takes a, a village to raise a baby well it, that's pretty much NMD you know it takes a village to raise an NMD team so you know, really getting on board and supporting each other um, is so important. So, so important because you want to be arriving there with grace and style, um, you know. And the cool thing about NMD is when you get there, right, you want to go, right, who's next? I remember two days after I went NMD, um, I turned around and I said, right, who's next? Yeah, who's next? So, and, you know, that's when the excitement was like, oh, my God, it's going to be me. Oh, no, no, it's going to be me. It was a bit of a cat fight, actually, as to who was going to be next, um, which is awesome, right? You want to create, you know, that excitement. So just let me know, T, can you hear me properly or is it cutting out a bit? No, all good, Mel. I can hear you perfectly. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. It just keeps freezing my end. So what I want to give you guys tonight, you lovely ladies, not guys, um, is I want to give you my list that I run through my massive action group. So what this does is it recruits team every single month, um, not only for myself, but for downline as well. And I can absolutely guarantee if you put these things into place that you will get results, you will have a better algorithm on your Facebook, um, you will have more engagement. So this is absolutely impeccable that not only that you that you you know write all of these things down as well but that you go and implement them because um you know what this could do for your business is absolutely mind-blowing so like t said you know i do run boss entrepreneur which was something that you know was created because i had so many people saying to me, mel what are you doing how did you do what you did and i just thought wow there's a real gap you know where people want to use social media but they don't really understand how it works or they want to use social media but they're not getting the results that they that they want 
So I created Boss Mama Preneur, which um, look, it's a load of things now, but when I created it, it was an online academy where you could spend two weeks with me, where, you know, I'm posting in there every single day for two weeks um, and really helping you grow your business and, and really boost that Facebook algorithm. Now it's moved into, um, you know, I'm proud to say that I have eight to 10 personal coaching clients um, that look, I'd love to say they're new all the time, but they're not, they just won't leave. <laughs> so, which is great, right? But um, yeah, you know, I, I love the fact now that, you know, I can give back to people that aren't just in the Juice Plus um, company, you know. I'm working with people worldwide now from many, many other businesses and industries as well. So that's really exciting. So this is the actual notes that I have here that I run through with my, uh, my coaching clients as well. So firstly, what you want to do is go back to the first day that you started your business in Messenger. Okay, now if it was over a year ago, only go back a year. Okay, if you've been in the business over a year, only go back a year. Okay, if you haven't been in the business a year, go back to your start date in your messenger. Okay, if you don't know what your start date is, you can find it in your BO. Now what you wanna be doing is what is screenshotting. Now this is gonna be a lot of screenshots, okay? You're probably gonna have 100, 150 screenshots, right? But what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you an active list to work with, okay, of who you need to be reaching out to, recontacting, and also conversations that you've missed. And I can guarantee you there's some that you've missed. So what you wanna do is screenshot from day one all the way through till now, okay? All the way through. And literally what you're gonna do, I'm just, make sure I balance this computer. So what you want to do is take your screenshot and then the person that's at the bottom is going to become the top of the next one. Like don't miss a person. Okay. And get all your screenshots running. So that's the first thing to write down. Then what you want to do is as you've got five minutes, how many of you go, Oh my God, I've got five minutes and I don't know what to do. So I'll just scroll on Facebook and check out what everyone else is doing. Cause that's me. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I'm like, Oh wow, that five minutes that I had, it's gone. Um, so this is a really, really cool way to have something in your backup. The minute you've got five minutes, you can pull up one of these photos of one of these screenshots and start working your way through those names. Okay, so obviously making sure you're filling out your grids, which is normal stuff. Um, now this will get you in excess of a couple of hundred conversations, I would imagine, right there and there, done and dusted. Now out of a couple of hundred conversations, if you're not converting any customers or team, then I would definitely say don't beat yourself up over it, but just go back to your upline and go, do you know what? Let's just take it back to basics again. Just show me again what I need to do because we forget, right? We're well, not expected to know it all the first time round. So if you're not converting, make sure that you go back to your upline and just say, all right, let's start from scratch again. Show me what I got to do. Show me the process. Um, so the exact process that I used in order to um, recruit in excess of 100 people frontline was uh, I would reach out. Now, some of them were people that I knew, some of them weren't, right? Um, and I would say, you know, when it got to the point of talking about the product or the business, I would say, look, I have no idea if this will interest you. That is my favorite line in the world. I have no idea if this will interest you, but I just wanted to tell you about the epic business opportunity behind Juice Plus if they're already a customer. Or I just wanted to tell you about the business that allowed me to become a stay-at-home mum and get paid for it, right? Or I just wanted to let you know, um, or I have no idea if this makes sense to you. I have no idea if this interests you, right? There's a few little variations that you'll put on it depending on who you're speaking to. Um, you know, and then I would reach out right? I have no idea if this will interest you, but I'd love to tell you how so many women that I know are moving into online business and getting to stay home with their kids, right? If you're talking to a doctor, you wouldn't say staying home with your kids, right? You'd say, I'd love to show you how to maximize um, the resources that you already have, in, you know, in a way where you're allowing people to have more whole foods in their diet. See how like that's all brainy and doctory and, you know, if it's a mom, talk mom. If it's a dad, talk dad. Yeah, be adaptable no matter who you're talking to. So 
that's the first thing I would reach out and then I would say, um, you know, and let's say they said, yep. Yeah, oh my God, that sounds amazing. I'd say, great. If I was to send you a link, would you have time to check it out? So I hope that you've all checked out GoPro. If you haven't, then that's where you will get the, if I would you from. Um, and then they say, yeah, definitely. I'd check it out. I send them a link and go, here it is. Um, you know, and remember I said to them, if I was to send you a link, would you have time to check it out today? or tonight, right? Because that's going to allow you to then have a time frame of when you can go back and follow up. So if I said to them, if I send you a link tonight, would you have time to check it out? And they said, yes, I know that I can put them in my diary for tomorrow to follow up. Okay. And then let's say I get back to them, I follow up and I say, okay, you know, what did you think of the link? What was, what, what did you love about it? Okay, and they go, oh my goodness, it's great. The support looks amazing. And I just say, look, does it sound like something that you want to be a part of? Yeah, actually it does. Awesome. Look, can I give you a buzz tonight? Or, you know, can I give you a buzz tomorrow? And we can have a chat about it a little bit more. I can run you through how it works and I can answer some of your questions. Boom, done. Right? Literally in a matter of five or 10 messages, done. Calls locked in, we're off and running. But how you speak to people on the phone is so incredibly important because they pick up off your vibe. Okay? If you're like, oh, yeah, look, yeah, um, yeah, look, the business is great. Uh, can't really tell you why because I'm stuttering a thousand times and, and, you know, I'm just making about myself right now. Right? You've got to be like, boom, boom, boom. You've got to write yourself some dot points. Yeah? I always have a massive whiteboard. People go, oh, Mel, you speak so great. I'm like, yeah, look, if I turn my computer around, you'd be able to see my cheat sheet every single time. So set yourself up for success. You know, have those dot points that are going to, you know, trigger you to be able to continue to keep sharing what it is that you love. Don't book calls when the kids are running around. Don't book calls at dinner time. Don't book calls while the kids are awake most of the time. Yeah, and for some of us, that's quite hard. But you know what? You're going to be flustered. You're going to forget about what you're talking about. You're going to be all over the place and their prob's not going to join your crazy business, right? Where you're like, oh my God, it's so great. We show you how to have a great lifestyle. Yeah, but I can't even talk on the phone for five minutes because it's manic. Yeah, you've got to be really, as much as we want to do business with babies by our side, nobody wants to buy into a business of craziness, right? Where it's manic. It looks manic from the outside. Yeah, that's not what people are looking for. So um, that's the first thing, right, is to, is to really know the process, the steps of that process, because the process will never change. The conversation will and the topic will, but the process has never changed for me ever ever, ever, ever. And I can say that that's put me at, I would say around about a 98% success rate of conversion every single time, just by following that process. And if you don't follow that process or you change the message a little bit, or you add in a little bit more, or maybe you get message crazy and just send them a message that's half a kilometer long, right? I can't tell you what the results were will be. So I will send those messages through to T so that she can pass them on to you. Um, and maybe I'll type them up in a bit of a, a process so you guys can see how it works. So moving on, because I want to get you all these notes. Um, the next one is as you go through your screenshots, okay, that you've taken all the way back from January, okay, last year, right? Um, or your start date, you're going to see loads of you're now connected in Messenger, new. It's got like a little new in black, right? Now, what happens is this is the thing where Facebook have slipped up because what they've done is you, as soon as that person has accepted your friend request, it drops back into your inbox back when you guys spoke last, not in real time. It doesn't go, oh my God, you guys are friends today. Let's put you at the top of the list. It puts you all the way back to when you guys spoke. So can you imagine how many you're now connected in Messenger that there are of people that you haven't connected with? So next, what you want to do um, is frog them. For any of you that don't know what that is, the first message to be sent is, hi, nice to connect on Facebook. How are you? And I can say that that, again, is a message that's so simple but gets engagement every single time. If they don't engage with you, guess what? Delete them. Yeah? 
you wouldn't stand in a pub and be like, hey, how are you? And they just look at you and walk away. You wouldn't walk back up to them and try and say hello again, would you? You'd be like, whatever, not going to talk to her again, right? So it's exactly the same with your Facebook. You know, if people aren't getting back to you and people aren't connecting with you and they can't even say hi, they're not your tribe. They're not who you want in your team. Get rid of them because your Facebook is your business now. Get rid of that spot and fill it with someone that is going to absolutely love you. So then what you want to do is the frogging. So F, I changed it a little bit. So F, I ask them where they're from. Okay. R is recreation. Don't just say to them, what's your recreation? Because they're going to go, you're weird. Right, but you might say, what did you get up to this weekend? Right, or, oh my goodness, you've got two little girls. Are they in dancing or swimming or one of everything? Right, like you're a mum. You know what you're doing, you know, or have we got dads on the line? I can't see everyone. Have we got any dads? No, nah, all the women. Yes, girl power. So, you know, like you know what it takes. If they've got little boys, you could say, oh my goodness, is every Sunday full of soccer for you? You know, or are you at cricket or, you know, those sorts of things, right? Um, girls, um, the next one, O, is occupation. Okay, so, uh, so are you a stay-at-home mummy? Oh, no, I work. Awesome. What, what do you do? Oh, I work in a bank. Oh, my goodness, is that big hours? Oh, Thursday nights, weekends, you know, and then they go, oh, yeah, sometimes. And how long have you been doing that for? You know, oh, three years. Great. Do you love it? I ask the prompt, the questions for them to go, no, I hate it. Yeah, that's a little tick where you're going to go, ting, there's one little sign that I could potentially offer them the business. Um, and G is goals. So, you know, something like, oh, you know what, I can't believe that this year is like we're halfway through the year already. What does the rest of the year look like for you? Okay, you wouldn't just say, what's your goals? Yeah, because even if someone asked me, what's my goals? I'd be like, oh, I don't know. What are we talking here? You know, because your goals are broken up into so many different things. So um, the next one, um, just give me two seconds. Okay, so the next one is um, how to search for people in your area. So what you want to do, this can only be done from a laptop. Okay, you want to click onto your friends. Okay, on your profile, click friends. And then on the left, on the right hand side, when that opens up, there's a little um, plus. Okay, so it's like an add friends. Um, and then you click on that and it brings up, you can actually go and search people who went to the same school as you. You can search people in your area. You can search people, um, oh my God, by where they work, right? So go and start little fires everywhere in your area. Okay, go and get to know everybody in your area. Go and have that frog conversation with everybody in your area. So, yes, you do need to add people that you don't know. That's very correct. Um, you know, and if that's a problem for you, then I would say it's probably time that you need to get out of your own way because you're not going to be able to build a business that's going to pay you a full-time wage off just your warm network unfortunately, right? Because not everyone says yes. So, you know, I would really get to the bottom of why that upsets you maybe, why you don't really want to add people that you don't know. Um, you know, is it just because you're worried they might think you're weird? Uh, look, some do. Some are like, why are you adding me? Yeah, okay, cool. I just deleted you again, so don't worry about it. But most of the people don't mind, okay? Most of the people don't mind because they understand that Facebook is a tool to connect. So that's how you search for people in your area. So there's no reason why you can't go and make an extra 20 friends in your area and book a coffee catch up. Yeah, just put it up on your, on your page. Make an event. Oh, my God, ladies, I've met so many new people in the last two weeks. I can't catch up with you all separately. So how about we just do one big coffee catch up? Yeah, Wednesday this time, done, see you there. Some will make it, some won't. But make that something that you do once a month, right? That's going to be your funnel to meet new people in your area. With your Facebook posts, you only want to be doing one to two posts per day, not within three hours of each other, okay? If you do it within three hours of each other, the second post will cancel out the first post and no one will even see it, okay? Um, now, with your Facebook posts, if they're not inspiring, educating, 
or entertaining, don't post it. Okay, no one wants to know about the car park in the shopping center. Yeah, no one wants to know about, um, uh, you know, your rant. Okay, it must be, it has to be inspiring, educating or entertaining. Unless your rant is extremely entertaining. Yeah, maybe you need to put a video in there or a photo or something to back it up. So um, definitely, definitely, definitely make sure that every time you post, you're towing that line. Okay, because that's what will set you above and make you different from everyone else on Facebook. Yeah, because everyone's whinging. Everyone's got something to say on Facebook. But if you're the one that's standing out, yeah, people are going to follow you and they're going to love the content that you're sharing. Um, the next one, personal development. And Sorry, guys, I'm definitely ripping through these. So I hope you've got a fast pen. Um, so personal development, not only are you using it to grow, okay, if you don't have a book or an audio on the go right now, you're mad. You're mad. And the reason that I say this is because that was me. Yeah, I, up until SSC in my business, I didn't do personal development and I also didn't do customer care because I was like too busy building a business over here. Haven't got time for that. What happened? Uh, the challenges that came up were too big for me to be able to handle because I hadn't grown mentally uh, enough to be able to handle those challenges. But also uh, my business fell apart. At SSC, no one would even know, but my business, I actually lost half of my front line um, and I lost about 12 to 15 customers at uh, SSC. I lost uh, three or four SCs. Uh, it was just horrid. It was like, if I could show you my reports, it was like beautiful, 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 and then crash and burn. Um, and yeah, it was just one of those uh, lessons that I needed to learn the hard way. Um, and you know, it was because I didn't love all my customers. I, you know, I literally put their order through and that was it. They never heard from me again. Yeah. And that's not what we're about. So, you know, I had to go and learn that the hard way. Um, you know, same with my team. I was literally skull dragging them with me. Yeah. Whether they wanted to go to NMD or not, we were going. Um, and you know, they, they pulled out because they didn't want to do it that way. Um, and now, you know, I'm really proud to say that we've got over that. We've grown through that. Um, you know, and now we're able to just love on people where they're at. doesn't matter, you know, how fast or how slow you do this business. You're just as important as everyone else. And everyone plays a role, you know, in Team Boss. Um, you know, some of my best leaders in the business um, are SDBF cumulative. You're not a leader just because of a title that you take in this business. Yeah. Because I've got SSCs that aren't leaders. I've got SSCs that don't even show up. Yeah, so I think it doesn't matter where you're at in this business. If you love to help or you want to do more or you want to step into leadership, just put your hand up. Yeah, because it, you, you're you worth it. You don't need to wait until you hit a title for people to go, oh, now you can take a call. Yeah, and that's probably what you're thinking. You're just like, oh, I don't know enough. Or I'm not, I haven't been in the business long enough. That's crap, right? You just need to dive in and start. So, um, personal development. Okay. Make sure, I mean, I usually have a book on the go for if I ever get five minutes, which I don't, but look, I've got one on the go. Um, and then I've got my audio fit in the car. Okay. So two on the go at once. Um, I don't retain information if I just listen to it. Cause I think it's, it's uh, what I call mum's disease where it just goes in one ear and out the other. So I have to take notes in order to, you know, to really, really soak it all up. So if that's what you've got to do, do the same thing. Um, but then what I do with personal development um, and one of these uh, that I always talk about is the book called Life Lessons from the Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. Now, there's 101 little short um, chapters in this book and every single one of those chapters in the contents is an idea for a live right so go and use the books that you're already reading or go and use some of the the tools that you already have to go and get more ideas for content okay so I read the book which helped me it helped me grow and learn I highlighted things in the book that I used for quotes and then I used the table of contents for live ideas like there's five things out of one book right so use use it up as much as you can I, I kind of liken it to you know like a sponge wring every little bit of water out of that sponge um, to get the information that you're needing 
So another couple of things that you can do um, is go back and print off, uh, and it might not show in all of your reports, but you can go back, if you're adding your customers into your address book, go back and open up your address book. Go and recontact all your customers that cancelled. Check what they're doing. Yeah, because how many of you have had a customer that gets on and then gets off and then gets back on again? Yeah, times change. And when people quit or they stop taking the product because of finances, yeah, finances might be different now. Or you might have grown enough in the business that now you've got the courage to go, hey, I never spoke to you about it before, but, you know, I know that you stopped Juice Plus because of the finances and I just wondered whether or not you'd be open to checking out the business side. That might allow you to get your product cheaper and earn some extra cash. Yes, you might be in that place now where you weren't before, where you were too scared to, to ask them before, you know, so go back through your address book. Um, the other one is if you have any non-active team, go and ring their customers if there are any, okay? Go and touch base with their customers because I can guarantee you if you have non-active team that still have customers, you're sitting on a gold mine. You're sitting on potential team. So again, how bad do you want it? Yeah, because there's a report that's sitting in your email right now that has people that probably want to join your team. Yeah, so go back through, have a look at those things. Um, obviously, sorting your declines is another one. Now, this one, like, love, and comment, okay? So the LLC. So what we want to do is we want to scroll to the bottom of our friends list on Facebook. Now, some of you are going to go, oh, my God, that's crazy. I've got 5,000 friends. Yeah, quality over quantity, okay? Guarantee you're not talking to all those 5,000. So it's probably pointless having all 5,000 there. So you will be able to work your way through those 5,000 with this step. So what you want to do is scroll right down to the bottom and you want to open up the very last profile and you're going to go in there. You're going to like their profile picture. Now, why the profile picture? Not the cover photo, not the big, long, skinny cover photo at the back, the little tiny square one when you open up um, their profile. Uh, what that does is it's a Facebook hack. So the minute that you like their profile picture, Facebook goes, oh my God, you guys are friends. Awesome. And it puts you back on their newsfeed again. Done. Then what you want to do is you want to love uh, either a picture or a quote or something. And then you want to go and comment on another one. So you're liking the profile picture, you're loving something else that they've put on their Facebook and you're commenting on something else. Now, if there's nothing for you to love or comment because their Facebook is that bad, just delete them. Yeah, just get rid of them. So you're doing a little bit of a Facebook cull as you go through, okay? Now, what that's going to do is they're going to go, oh, who's this person? Wow, she just liked my picture and she loves something else and she commented, I'm going to go and have a look at her, okay? Because some people you don't know, right? Some people, they're just on your Facebook. And then they're going to go, oh, wow, what are these capsules that she's talking about? Or, oh, my God, wow, she has a business that I can join. Okay, because I can guarantee that every time you're posting, only about 20, 25% of your actual friends are seeing your stuff. So, you know, those posts that we have where we get so excited, and like, yes, I'm going to have 10 new team and all these orders and you put it up and it's like crickets. There's like your mum liked it and that serial liker that likes everything and the serial sharer and that's it, right? And that's because nobody else saw it. Okay, so this liking, loving and commenting, this out of everything that I've shared with you tonight would be the gold, the absolute gold that is going to blow your Facebook up, literally. Now, if you decide to only like, love and comment on 10 people, then suck it up. That's the results that you're going to get. Yeah, if you go and do it on 2,000 people, your business is probably going to blow up, okay? But you need to make sure that, in, that your posts are inspiring, entertaining, or educating. Because when these people are landing back on your page, they need to love what they're seeing. Okay, so diversity. I post about the product directly once a week. So that might be selfie with the capsules. Thank God for these babies because I feel amazing. Been on them for three years. I've noticed X, Y, Z. Okay, that's a direct Facebook post. Then I'll do an indirect, okay, where I might be just taking a photo and the capsules are in the background. Or I might take a photo of my breakfast and my capsules are just next to it. But there's nothing in the post about the capsules, okay? 
Um, and then I do a direct business post. So that is, you know, boss mum is wanted or something like that. And then I do an indirect, which is a picture of the beach. Where's your office today? Okay. Um, and that's it. All the rest of them are adding value or sharing a story or just showcasing lifestyle. Now, if you're trying to wholly and solely build your business, um, you know, by putting up pictures of staying at home with kids, that's great. But what you need to remember is that most mums get excited about going out. Most mums get excited about leaving the house. Okay, you gotta remember that when you're trying to get mums to join your team, yeah, most mums won't join to just sit at home and do what they're already doing. Yeah, you've got to show them what they can have. You've got to show what we do go, get up to. You've got to show the coffee catch-ups and the fun times as well. That's what will get a mum interested, that she can get frocked up, put a face on, do her hair once a month and come and hang out with the girls. Done. I'm in. But if you showcase manicness, that your life still looks manic, even though you've got this awesome business that allows you to travel and, you know, make choices, yeah, people are going to go, well, I've already got that. I've already got a manic life. I've already got all these kids running around. Get me out of here, right? So showcase the things that they don't have in order to get their attention. Um, the next one is, like I said, diversity is key. Okay, so go back and have a think about what do you love to do? I want a list of 10 to 20 things that you love to do. It might be coffee catch-ups. It might be girls' nights out. It might be hiking. It might be gym. It might be cooking, right? It might be kids. It might be a craft. It might be netball, basketball, whatever it is, right? And if you can't think, then now's the time because it's safe to say that you have lost your way a little bit, yeah? If you can't think of 20 things, then I would say you've lost your way a little bit in who you are and where you belong. And we need to get to the bottom of that in order for you to be able to go and inspire the people that you want to and attract the people that you want to as well. Now, one of the ways that we can dig deeper into that is what did you love to do as a kid? For me, it was swimming. My hair was green as a kid. It just stayed green, right? Why did I stop doing that? Because A, I didn't make time. B, I'm an adult now, so I can't just swim all day, right? Well, yeah, I probably can, but I don't make time for it. The other one was rollerblading. Why did I stop? I don't know, because as I got older, I probably looked like a newborn baby giraffe maybe, right? But they're all the things that I love to do. Can you just turn that off, please, Isla? Quick, just touch the top of it. So, um, you know, so this is the thing. I went back and bought a pair of rollerblades. Funniest thing in the world, right? Having a ball <laughs> trying to reteach myself how to do this. Keeping fit as well, right? The girls are on their scooters and bikes laughing at me at the same time. But do you know how many people have messaged me and said, oh, my God, I used to love that as a kid. Let's do it. I'll come and hurt myself with you. Let's do it. Right? So all of a sudden, there's a few more people that want to do things. So if you're always out doing things, you're always going to be growing your business. You're always going to have a new team. So I'll be out having coffee. There's a group that want to do that. Then I'll be out rollerblading. There's a group that want to do that. Then I might, you know, say, oh, there's a beach day. There's a group that want to do that too. Then there's a girls' night out I might organize. Yeah, there's definitely a pretty big group that want to do that. Right, then there's the, the mountain climbing group as well that want to do that as well. So what I'm saying is if you're sitting at home wondering why your business isn't growing but you're kind of not really leaving the house, you're not showcasing anything that everyone doesn't already have. Does that make sense? I think like it's you've got to be able to showcase what people don't have. I joined this business because I saw Jess working at the beach with her kids. I saw her at Hamilton Island with the girls yeah, and I saw her getting to design her days and go and have coffee with friends. Now, I used to do some errands for the office job that I was in and I remember walking through a shopping centre because I had to go to the back, right? And I'd walk through a shopping centre and I'd see all these women at cafes and I'd think, <laughs> do you guys even work? Like, how do you do this? How is it that I'm working, my kids are in daycare for 12 hours a day and you, you ladies for leisure are just having coffee? Like it used to tear me to pieces because I'm thinking, what do they do? They obviously do something, right? 
Yeah, they probably found network marketing before I did. But the point is, I was excited about having coffee and designing my days. And, you know, that was the last post that Jess put up was a picture of coffee. That was it. It was just a picture of coffee. Yeah, and I was like, right, that's it. I've had enough now. I'm, I'm in. Yeah, so don't ever underestimate a coffee catch-up. If you're going to get a cold breast juice, take a photo of it. If you're having a coffee, take a photo of it. Right? If you're going for a walk, take a photo of it. If you are, you know, starting the shred, take photos, do a live. Like every, everything that happens throughout your day is an opportunity for content creation. Now, you do not need to use that content that day. Quite often, I'll put up posts of me somewhere, right? And I'm not actually there. <laughs> or I was there three days ago, okay? Because they don't need to know the actual space, time, and location that I was there. But the point was, I was there. Yeah, so just take the photos and continue to use them for your content creation. Now, I sit down on a Sunday and I will do my content creation for the week. Um, and like I said, diversity is key. So all of the people that I want to attract into business uh, or into my business, um, look, and everyone's is different, but I built my business based on a very, very materialistic basis. So I showcased the handbags and the hotels and the holidays and all that sort of thing. So um, now that well, it's not doable for everyone. Okay, you got to remember I was a full-time working mummy when I started this business, okay? So financially, I was able to go and do those things to start off with. So don't set yourself up for failure, okay? If that doesn't look like you right now, don't try and do it. But, you know, I think the, the important thing is to get a few ideas of some things that you love. Um, you know, so maybe you might, okay, let's say you want all new linen, yeah, and you can't really do it right now because that stuff is expensive. But nothing stops you going to Pillow Talk, laying all over their bed and taking a photo and saying, damn, know where my next bonus is going, right? You didn't say that you bought it and people are going to judge anyway. People are going to assume anyway, so let them assume that you bought it because they're going to assume anyway. There's nothing that you can do about that. So, um, you know, I walked into Pandora, I put on a ring, which now I went and bought, but I put on the ring and I took a photo and I went, damn, know where my next bonus is going, right? And you know what? People were like, oh, they didn't actually even read what I wrote, I don't think. They were just like, oh my God, she got the ring. Yeah, but I didn't say that. I just said that at some stage, there's probably going to be a bonus yeah, and there's going to be enough money left over that I can buy myself something nice. That's all people are picking up on when you put these types of posts up. So let them, let them assume anyway, um, but really, really paint that vision. You know, if people know that you only joined the, the business a week ago, don't go and take a photo in a $100,000 car, right? Because they're going to go, you're dreaming. Um, you know, don't say, oh my goodness, I've just started this business a week ago and I can't wait to buy this mansion on the beach. Like really? Yeah, it's got to be relatable for where you're at. So, you know, if you're new into the business, maybe just put up a picture of a handbag or a pair of shoes or a dress or something that you're aiming for. And then as your business grows, grow those things that you're putting up. So that wraps up the massive action um, steps that we use. We use this every single month. We go back through and do this. We have a massive action group. Um, but, you know, I think really, you know, if you're ever feeling uninspired or you're ever feeling as though, do you know what, this is tough, just reach out to someone who you go, oh, my God, I love what they do right? Anyone. It doesn't matter who it is. Yeah. Because if you go, oh no, I can't reach out to them because they're NMD or I can't reach out to them because they're not in my team. Like, that's crazy stuff. Yeah. People will always, always help you. So I guess really, um, you know, I'm more than happy to help you guys as much as I possibly can. If you're all willing to buy in and go into massive action. Now I want to see a raise a hand. Let me, let me just change the view here. Have we got everyone on camera? If you're not on camera, it means you're naked, by the way. <laughs> you watch. Everyone's like, no, no, no quick, quick, quick. quick. <laughs> so what I want to do, and I want to offer this to you guys, but it's only if you want it, right? Only if you want it. And I've got to see a show of hands. So 
I will, if you want to, and if you're loving this content and you want to know more and you want to get results, maybe you're feeling a little bit uninspired. Maybe you just need some ideas because the stuff that, you, that you're using just doesn't work anymore. Um, whatever it is, I would be happy to work through it with you all. Um, and we will start a massive action group for this whole entire team, anyone that's interested in, in jumping on board. Um, and I will personally run it alongside T um, and get you guys some results. So the last one that we ran, um, or the last month that we ran it um, in full swing, we broke six SCs, right? Um, and it's just nuts the things that happen when everyone starts to get behind everyone and really get some results. So if this sounds like something that you want, drop it in the comments and I want to see them all popping up. If it is what you guys want, if you love this type of content, maybe, maybe you just want us to have a look at your page and go, okay, look, this isn't working. What can I do? Yeah, there's no holds barred on what we can do and how much we can help you, but we need you to want to do it, if that makes sense. Um, so, who's in? Put your hands up. Yeah, you can put your hands up. You can, you can you comment. Uh, and you know what? If it's not for you, that's perfectly fine as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I would much rather people be brutally, brutally honest um, than get dropped into the hot sauce. Um, but looks like everyone seems pretty keen, um, which is awesome. So. Um, yeah, we will definitely get that started. Um, we'll get you popped in there, but I'm, I'm going to warn you, right? My massive action group, okay, if you don't post in there or if you don't show up or if you think that you can sit on the sidelines, you will get booted. Okay, it doesn't mean that you've got to be in there crazy. It doesn't have to take up all of your time, okay? But you've got to be showing up so that we know that this is what you still want. So I'm more than happy to offer my time and my knowledge um, and really, really help you guys get some results uh, for no other reason than to help you guys build your businesses. So if you're all in, we, um, we will get this group started and let's kick it off on the first. Thank you so, Mel, for all of that. And thank you for offering that um, to the girls as well. I think they all seem very excited, which is great. Hey. It's just nice sometimes to connect with different people, um, yeah. you know, hear how different people have a different spin on it. And even already, like all of these ideas that you've given us just from tonight's call, I'm sure everyone's mind is like mine and is just going, oh, my God, there's so much information. I'm yeah. glad I recorded this. So I'll put it up, girls, so that you can rewatch it. Um, yeah. But just a couple of questions, Mel. When you were talking about the frog method that you use, um, how how fast do you think those conversations are going? Like basically as soon as they're replying, are you like bang hitting them with that next question in the FROG or are you kind of playing it cool? And uh, it, yeah, it kind of depends. Yeah. It depends. You'll get a bit of a feel, right? Yeah. If they're a really nice person, it'll just flow. Yeah. It'll yeah. just be like talking to your best mate, you know, so just let it happen. Um, but, yeah, otherwise some of them it, it's a bit painful and you're really feeling like you're squeezing the answers out of them, yeah. Um, you know, which, yeah, I do. I continue to just keep asking questions and finding out more until someone might say, you know, I say, oh, so where are you from? And they say, oh, Adelaide. Oh, my God, I went to Adelaide. Oh, my goodness, I went on a girls' night out in Glen Elg. It was nuts, got lost, no <laughs> idea who I was the next day. And, you know, like kind of... I guess what you're wanting is you're wanting to go in with a little bit of information to make you seem normal. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm normal. I went to Adelaide. I did what everyone does, right? I went out. It was crazy. Um, you know, and then they start to ease up a little bit mm. or they might say, Oh my goodness, you know, uh, my little girl does ballet. And if your kid does, yeah, be like, Oh my goodness, how much does this stuff cost? You know, <laughs> like go in and relatable um, you know because that's what's going to take people's guard down if you're just ask, asking back and forth questions it's going to be awkward yeah yes yeah, try sure. and find a common ground and when you find it get to know them inside that common ground if that makes sense yeah um, yeah perfect yes yeah, so and when you were that, that'll definitely make the conversation flow Yes. Yeah. Awesome. And also when you were talking about the, um, you know, going down to the bottom of our friends um, list, liking their profile picture and then doing the like, love, yep. comment, 
Are you kind of doing that bang, bang, bang as well? Because I know when I first listened to day one or two of your course, I, I started doing that and I, I thought I'll like everyone's profile picture first. So like I did that and I thought tomorrow I'll go back and like comment on someone's and then it all got lost because I didn't know who I'd done and where I was up to. So are you just kind of smashing that out yeah. all at once? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. yeah. yeah. Like, love, comment, one profile, done. Next yeah. one, done. Um, yeah, because otherwise you'll lose your way. And then what you can do is just make note of where you're at in your friends list. Yeah. Um, if that yeah. makes sense. Good idea. So, and, yeah. Trace, and that way, you know, you go and do all the W's and, you know, yeah. and then go and do all the, all the rest. Yeah. 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 Trace, did you, or does anyone else have any oh. quick questions for Mel? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mel, for taking hey. time. I won't hold you too much longer. Just a quick question. Hey. When you're talking about going back to connecting with um, all customers that had cancelled, are you yeah. obviously not going, you're just doing the whole basically frog thing with them too, just like checking in, not, yeah. you know, going straight into anything yeah. else? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not, I'm not just diving straight in like, hey, you were on the berries before, you should totally be on them again. Yeah, <laughs> two for one, two for one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, no, look, I'm just going back in and, you know, this is the thing about getting to know your customers, you know. I know them so well that I can go back in and go, oh, my God, since you've been off your product, I know that your son has had his birthday and, you know, and I am like, how did it go? Did you have a party, you know? So this is the thing, right? As you're speaking to your customers, ask them questions, right? You're, they're giving you their child's date of birth just to get the CHS. Where are you making note of that? So that when you, so I've got customer cards. So when I need to go and call Danielle or whatever, I pull up her card and I can go, okay, cool. Yep, we've got, all right, her daughter's birthday, son's birthday. Yeah, not, none of them have been. You know what I mean? Or, oh, they're next month. I can say to her, hey, Danny's birthday's next month. What are you doing? She's going to go, what? You're like some sort of superwoman? How do you remember this stuff? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but set yourself up to succeed with these little like client cards. You can get them from um, office works, you know, like just the little white, um, they're a bit bigger than a palm card. Um, and yeah, like if you need 10 of them to keep information on one customer, then do it. They put them all together. Um, you know, in that way, it's going to give you some really cool stuff to go back to and chat to them about. They're going to be completely disarmed. Okay, they're going to be just chatting to you just because they want to. And then you can drop in there, hey, look, I know that, you know, it's been about six months since you've been off to Juice Plus now. I just, you know, wanted to check in and, and see how you're feeling. Did you notice getting off the product? And they might go, oh, my goodness, yes, I did, actually. Horrible. Yeah, and then you can say, so, look, I know that finances were a problem. I never mentioned to you the business opportunity behind Juice Plus. Maybe that's something we need to chat about. Okay, so it'll be really, see how it's kind of, it's, yeah. chilled. it's just chilled. And I yeah. honestly, I treat my customers as if, like, they've been my bestie for 50 years. I'm just, like, blasé as with them, really cruisy. Uh, whether I've known them for five minutes or 10 years, I'm really, really cruising with them. And they tend to come back to you with that type of approach as well. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So true. You just got to treat them casually like you would a friend, build that relationship and ask them questions. And then like they always say, right, um, customers aren't going to cancel out of a relationship. So we've got so much more chance if we've built that relationship rather than just... Yeah never hearing them never hearing from us again like you used to be <laughs> they're all yeah to totally and I think and I think look if you've built the relationship with them you can kind of go back in there full force yeah. you know how you been how's the kids what's been going on hey I know you've been off juice plus now for six months because you know them well enough that you can kind of just go in there and mm. you know check how they've been and and let them know why you're contacting them whereas if you don't really know them well then yes you're going to feel salesy yeah you're going to feel as though you're hunting them because that's exactly what you're doing. So, um, yeah, I think, you know, just spend the time getting to know them a bit better. I know for me that I used to get so scared. I'm like, get to know them. What do I even ask them? Like, really? What, how do I even get to know them? Um, but the, that frog concept is just the starting mark.
Once you've done the frog concept, people just start to open up more. So make sure you're making notes about your, your customers because it's going to give you some really awesome ammo to go back later down the track. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Mel. I know everyone's like, wow, that was so amazing. So if everyone wants to take themselves off mute and